I just got back from my two-week Europe trip. So while it's fresh, I'm sharing my journey to fully funding this trip myself and what I spent on as a first-timer. Was it worth it? Was it not? Let's get into it. Hey guys, I missed you. It's been a while since I posted because I really just wanted to be fully present during my trip and just take that a bit of a hiatus from filming and now that i'm back i'm excited to just share all the tea what happened in my trip how much i spent really the real journey that got me here because it was definitely not rainbows and butterflies that got me here and i wanted to share those lessons and realizations as well so how i planned and funding this euro trip i believe it all has to start with a vision i always talk about here on my channel that you have to have a crystal clear vision of what financial freedom is to you and for me like two three years ago it was really for me to live a life of freedom and meaning by doing what i love while being with people i love forever in the world and i knew that while i was growing this unconventional business as a money mindset and life coach that gives me that sense of fulfillment and meaning that i also want to have that time freedom location freedom that allows me to be with people i love be with people i care about spend time with them spend quality time because that's really my love language and so i knew that one of my goals would be to go to europe and fund this trip myself i say that because you need to really want it so bad to save up for this trip because there would be times when i'd be like damn that's expensive damn that's a lot of money like damn you could just save that up you could just like leave that in your digital bank and let it earn interest and it will grow versus like spending seventy thousand on a plane ticket there was a lot of this i would say that old version of me would be like don't spend that much that's too much money are you sure you could spend that much what if it all runs out what if you go back to zero and so that's why it's so important that i talk about that you become so clear and so firm with your life vision because there will be those thoughts there will be those limiting beliefs that would tell you like you really deserve to spend that much on yourself you know because it's really not a joke like spending two weeks in europe was a lot of money that i saved up for and every single expense that were big like booking the plane ticket you know paying for my visa application it was a lot of money that i had to constantly reaffirm myself that nick you're safe to spend this much on yourself nick you're safe to spend and get this amount of savings from your bank account knowing that it's aligned with your ideal life that it's aligned with the life that you have built up to this day because also one of the reasons that i decided to push through with this trip was to really celebrate two years of becoming a full-time business owner with my coaching business because as you guys know if you've been watching my channel my main source of income is through my coaching business and i wanted to celebrate and prove to myself that when i'm just so passionate doing what i love and i get paid well for it and i get to create impact that i also get to give myself permission to fund my biggest dreams and one of which is this europe trip and so it also gave me the space to celebrate also i chose europe because my siblings my only two siblings actually have lived abroad for quite some time now and we haven't been seeing each other like as we used to be so my brother lives in the u.s and then my sister lives in germany and so this was our first time really reuniting together and traveling together this year so i knew that one of my goals was really to be with people i love forever in the world and this europe trip was that puzzle piece that allowed me to really bring this vision into fruition you know for myself and so that's why it's really like the first thing that you need to consider when you are going to plan this kind of trip is be crystal clear on what your life vision is what your version of financial freedom is because a lot of people will not be able to get it or you will 
sometimes doubt yourself along the way because I did. You know, like, oh my gosh, this is going to be so much. Like, will I really get that amount of money from my bank account? And so the mindset work is constant work when it comes to funding these huge dreams that we have, these huge milestones that we have. And so being grounded in a vision is so, so, so important. And that's why I love coaching my clients on this is so that whenever doubts come in, whenever fears come in, whenever their old limiting beliefs come into the picture they go back to what they truly desire which is in line with their ideal life their ideal life vision for what they've always wanted and that's what allowed me to spend big on myself to spend big on this trip knowing that i can do it worry free that i can plan for it and not be stressed about my finances and being there you know and number two that i always talk about it's really mastering the right system and mindset around money. Having the right mindset and system around money, that's what allowed me to manage my business cash flow well, to save consistently for this trip, and more importantly, give myself permission that I can spend this much on myself and my dreams. Because I swear, saving up for this trip and spending that amount guilt-free are two different mindset shifts that you need to really embody and solidify within yourself because yes like i knew like i was saving consistently from this because i was able to have the right system around managing my business cash flow and at the same time why i was saving up for it i was also taking out money from it because i was paying for my visa application i was going to pay for my flight already and so i had to constantly coach myself i always love to practice self-coaching like even me as a coach i coach Coach others like as my clients but at the same time I also coach myself often of like okay Nick if there's a feeling in me that's like oh my gosh I'm, I'm getting a bit nervous about this or oh my gosh that's a huge chunk of money like I really really acknowledge that and feel that because for the longest time I would just like you know set aside feelings and not really give myself the time and space to acknowledge them and so for me it was so important to be like okay I know you're nervous and I know that that's a huge chunk of money but let's be reminded of what it's all for what the purpose is and why it's important to you and why it truly adds value to your life and as you know I've always talked about in this channel that I always like to strike the balance of enjoying the now while saving up for my future and this is an example of that I was able to save up for this future goal and now I was ready to actually enjoy the present moment. I remember when I was already in Europe and I would see like different age groups, right? And I was like, do I want to wait until I'm like 50, 40, or 60 when I don't have that much energy yet? Like, this is me investing in my self-growth. This is me investing in myself that I am worth spending that much money on. And it was constantly reaffirming that, telling myself that it's safe. And that's why I always talk about how important it is to have the right mindset around money. Like, yes, it's also important to have the strategy side of like making sure that you have the right system and being able to save consistently. But then that's basically useless if you still feel guilty about spending on yourself, if you still feel like you don't deserve good things, if you don't deserve experiencing nice things in life. This journey of funding this trip was also a lot of healing my inner child who had those like financial worries and financial traumas and I had to constantly tell myself that I'm not defined by those past financial traumas anymore, my past financial worries anymore. When I used to be so attached to money, when I was so scared to let go of money, like I wasn't that anymore. Like I knew I could finally give myself permission to fully enjoy, to fully let go of this money knowing that it's aligned to my version of financial freedom. It's aligned to my real desires and dreams and i know my inner child would be so proud of me for so bottom line your mindset and your system around money need to go hand in hand you can't just have the perfect excel sheet or the perfect app or the perfect way to track your expenses but then your mindset is still toxic your mindset is still rooted in those financial traumas that have been holding you back telling you like do you really deserve to spend that much 
aren't you going to feel guilty for doing that? Isn't it selfish to do that? Like, these are the things that we need to talk about more when it comes to funding these huge milestones in our life because that's what allowed me to save consistently every single month an amount that would go for this trip and also appease myself and calm myself every time I get an amount out of that bank account because I've seen it with my clients when they're like, I have clients in the two kinds of like spectrums of like, oh, I don't know how to save. I always, every time I see my my salary, I just want to like spend it all. And then there's another spectrum of like, I just want to keep saving my money and I'm scared to touch it. I don't want to touch it or else I'm going to feel so anxious. I keep looking at my bank account, knowing that it's not, it's not going to decrease because if it decreases, I'm going to be stressed out. I'm going to be anxious. Like those things are the real mindset work the real inner work that we need to do so that we get to have that confidence and peace of mind in funding our dreams and funding this huge life milestones and then it becomes easy for us to balance enjoying the now while saving for our future because i always say that whenever you level up your goals whenever you level up your dreams there will always be an important, major, crucial money decision that you need to make. There's always a huge investment or huge cost whenever you want to make your dream into a reality. I believe my journey for saving for this trip is like maybe one year and a half. And every single time that I would set that money aside, it was like telling my brain like you are a step closer to making this happen. You are a step closer in making this a reality. It was that constant inner work and mindset work that I had to do throughout that one year and a half journey for saving up for this trip that you are safe to spend this much. You deserve to enjoy very free. That you are not gonna earn out. That abundance is limitless. That when you get to live your best life, that you get to set the example for others that they can do it too. I mean, that's why I love it. I love being that coach that I get to receive all these messages from my clients who get to fund their travels too and tell me like, coach, I finally did it and I didn't feel guilty and I knew that I saved up for this, that I knew that I get to have the best of both worlds, that I am able to be on track with my emergency fund. I'm not touching it because I have a separate travel fund that would allow me to book this trip. That's why I love sharing my story, my client success stories, that they were also able to balance enjoying the fruits of their labor now funding their travels funding the trips that they've wanted for themselves for their family while at the same time feeling secure about their future because they're on track with their emergency fund they're investing in their future self as well i have this client who messaged me like coach i finally booked this hong kong trip and i'm so proud of myself because i have redefined what it means to be a breadwinner that she could take care of herself that she could travel that she could enjoy traveling with her family in hong kong soon while at the same time being that provider for her family that now she's about to like hit her six months emergency fund and i just love 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 sharing that story because i also just want you to see that you could enjoy these travels enjoy the things that make you live your life to the fullest fund these things and at the same time you could be on track with your savings that you could feel secure whether as a breadwinner or as someone who's who just has a lot of responsibilities and and another example is a client of mine who's like he she used to be so guilty about spending on herself or spending on things outside of her needs and lately she messaged me and like coach without you and your program i wouldn't have gotten the courage to book a trip in japan for taylor swift's concert and i just love that and if you're curious on how i can coach you as well in building the right mindset and systems around money so that you could also fund your next lifestyle milestones into reality then i invite you to join the waitlist for my five month coaching program fund your freedom so in the first 60 days this is where my clients have broken the cycle of unhealthy spending habits this is where they became at peace with managing their finances they became confident in just 
tracking and monitoring the expenses twice a month in like less than 15 minutes. And at the same time, more importantly, they become confident in funding their next major life milestones because that's what our finances should be for. So if you want to join as soon as my next enrollment opens, make sure you join the waitlist and you will be notified with an early invitation to join with a special bonus of additional month of one-on-one -on -one coaching support with me so that you're continuously supported and validated in your journey towards funding your huge lifestyle milestones. Link in bio to join the waitlist and read all of the other client testimonials so that you could be inspired of what's possible for you as well. Now, let's get into the juicy part, which is what I spent on during my two-week Europe trip. So let's dive into the things that I needed to pay for before going to my actual trip. So I went to Germany, Paris, and Prague. So first is the very madugong visa application. So I spent 1,770 for just booking my appointment for my visa application at the VFS website. So that's basically the agency that would allow you to process your visa application and get it approved by the embassy. And then the processing fee of the actual visa application is 4,810 pesos. So the processing fee actually, di pa yan sure na approved ka. So that's just literally like, we're gonna process your visa application for you. No guarantee you're gonna be approved. So you're already gonna spend that much without even being assured that you're going to get a visa. So the visa that I talk about is your Schengen visa. So that's basically your visa to enter countries in Europe. I'll also share the visa requirements below if you are curious for you to get started. So the visa I got is a visit visa. So this this visa is for the purpose of visiting a relative, so for my case, it was my sister in Germany. And then, I also paid for travel insurance, which cost 3157 That's actually a requirement, one of the requirements for your visa application that you need to have travel insurance. And then, for the biggest expense, the flight. So booking my flight from Manila to Berlin, Germany because that's where me and my siblings were going to reunite in Germany and then we were going to go to Paris and Prague together. So my flight and dami kong pinag-isipan with this flight because I was looking at at first syempre the cheapest one possible, but the problem was iba iba yung airlines and I knew that it would be stressful that way like okay, baka ma ko yung plane ticket ko. Pero baka mas stress naman ako madelay yung flight ko, ma ma wala yung luggage ko, or I wouldn't get proper customer service because I would be jumping to different airlines. So I had to really think about like, mamaya yung maitipid ko with a more budget flight, maging katumbas naman ng stress ko. So I was like, you know what, I would rather make sure that I am as much as possible stress-free during my flight and everything goes smoothly and I'm willing to pay more premium for it knowing that i'd be more at ease i'd have more peace of mind that everything's gonna run smoothly so i decided to book my flight direct with qatar airways and honestly it was worth it that i made that decision because everything was smooth sailing it was so easy to to get updates to their app there was barely any delay like siguro ko may delay man like 30 minutes so what happened was my my flight is Manila to Doha, Qatar. So, yun yung layover. I had a layover na three hours. May bakong layover na one hour. So, I do a layover there. And then, from Doha, Qatar to Berlin, Germany. So, I had two flights, essentially, that led me to my final destination in Germany. So, that flight cost 79,143 pesos. So, when I tell you, when I saw this amount, I'm like... And expect ko lang talaga dapat mga 55,000, ganyan. And honestly, there, I saw those. But then, madami mga caveat, like less um, luggage. Basta madaming minus-minus sa parang ako, I know I'm just going to be, I'm gonna be too restricted with that. And I wanted to make sure I'm as comfortable as possible. And so, and so I would say it was worth it booking direct with Qatar Airways. Like, I really had a good experience. If I would go back to Europe again or I would go to international flights again, I would really recommend Qatar Airways. Like, I would want to book with Qatar Airways again. Their food was so good in the place. Like, so yeah, that was my biggest expense for this Europe trip. Next flight that I bought was from Berlin, Germany to Paris, which cost 13,157 pesos. This was through EasyJet. 
So when it comes to Berlin to Prague naman, so going to Prague, we just need to take a four-hour train from Berlin, Germany, and that costs 3,060 pesos. So honestly, you guys, like I see people like going to seven countries in two weeks. And for me, going to three countries lang for two weeks was already a lot. Like, it was already a lot for me. Like, a ng yare. I just can't imagine going to seven countries because, like, you you travel, you fly, you go to the train. Pero, I mean, ang cool lang la, literally, like, after four hours sa ibang bansa ka na. Like, because from Berlin to Prague, like, ang galing. Like, pagdating mo sa Prague, iba na yung currency, iba na yung language, iba na yung culture, iba na yung scenery. Like, it's cool that way. But for me, I would say my max in the future, if I would go back, like, two countries in two weeks, to be honest. Like, if you're like me na gusto mo medyo slow traveling, gusto mo talagang medyo may muni muni moment. And then when it comes to accommodation, so the Prague accommodation where we did three days, two nights, was... 3,756 pesos. When we went to this accommodation, it was shared between me, my brother, my sister-in-law, my sister, and her boyfriend. So, lima kami who shared in the Prague accommodation. So, it was equally divided among us. So, in a way, mas nakamura because equally divided among us. And yung mga Airbnb, guys, like, I didn't want to expect much because we were literally just gonna sleep and go out. So, nothing special about the Airbnb. It's just something to sleep in and something na convenient to the transportation and the tourist areas that we are going to. And then, yung Paris Airbnb for Four days and three nights cost me 7,200 pesos. Honestly, guys, sa Paris, parang halos lahat ng, lahat sa Paris, mas mahal talaga. I mean, mura na nga itong nakuha namin Airbnb, care of my sister who found it, because hindi siya nasa main city. Like, we needed to take a 30-minute train from Paris to the city center, like where the Eiffel Tower is, where all the, you know, main touristy areas are. So, those are for the flights and accommodation. Next is for my internet. So, I actually subscribed to Globe Road. So I have a postpaid plan with the Globe and I discovered that they have a roaming promo for 15 days. It's only 3999 which was super like convenient instead of like getting a pocket Wi-Fi or getting an eSIM. Like I just needed to literally toggle data roaming and cellular data in my phone and then boom, I already have internet. It's not always fast. Like I would say it's enough to like Viber, to like do the messaging apps. Pero sa Instagram sometimes mabagal mag-load yung videos. Pero for me, it wasn't really a priority. What my priority was then was like making sure that I was in contact with my siblings if ever humiwalay ako if ever I went to a different place. In terms of pocket money like cash and how I used my credit card like I really really recommend that you have cash in euros with you and then also your credit card because there are parts of Europe or like establishments in Europe na talagang they don't accept credit card they only accept cash and so I needed to make sure that I had pocket cash with me. So I was able to convert 59,884 pesos to euros which is 975 euros. So I used that cash pocket money for food, beverage, also paying my sister for the accommodation because she booked it and so near reimbursed niya muna and then I paid her for the Paris accommodation, train, and the Airbnb. So I used that money as cash to pay her and then the rest of the money I used for food like for every single day and then also i had a tattoo with my siblings which was a lot of fun so we decided to get the same tattoo to like commemorate this experience that it really symbolizes like our roots and that we would always find ways to reunite and connect with each other so that's basically what i used my pocket money for so i actually budgeted like 3500 a day in europe so i would say like that's that's a huge contingency na because like germany and prague must must affordable or must reasonable yung price like it would be like what 15 euros per meal or even less like 12 euros per meal like pag breakfast nga paminsan 6 euros lang ako sa germany like coffee na yon and pastry but then sa paris oh my god kung malapit ka sa touristy areas ang mahal talaga like i believe I remember when I paid like 19 euros for this chicken sandwich that looked so basic. Okay. <laughs> Pero nandun na. So wala na. And then also like itong platter na fish and chips na 20 euros. Hindi ko makakalimutan kasi technically 1,200 plus pesos yun. So alam mo yun na parang I had the choice of being like, okay, will I be stressed that this is so expensive if I convert it? Or like, what if I just allow myself 
the experience that okay i'm thankful i have the money for it so i could pay for it instead of be stressed of like looking for the cheapest place you know so food and beverage food in general was something i didn't want to to be matiped about like i just wanted to experience whatever was there and especially like dining al fresco trying all the food and just I didn't want to stress myself about like, oh, that's so expensive. Alongside that, I used my credit card because it's just more convenient for some of my food and beverage, for transportation. Like for instance, like train in Prague, it's so convenient to just tap your card and then you're gonna be able to pay for the ticket. So I don't wanna like convert pa my cash from euros to kronos which is the prog currency the bang hassle non so that's why i said like so convenient i just stopped my credit card so i considered the budget that i would use my credit card for so for food and beverage and transportation that i used my credit card for it amounted to 10,043 pesos because i also kind of because i still wanted to maximize my credit card as well for the points and everything so i went back and forth between using my pocket money 975 euros and also my credit card for food beverage and transportation so the next category that you're probably super curious about is shopping how much did i spend on shopping so i spent for my credit card a total of 20,460 pesos. So, kasama na dito the things I bought for myself and pasalubong. Let me know if you want like a dedicated video or maybe I'll post about it in my Instagram what I bought and I'm proud of myself because I was able to stay within my budget for this trip and I am happy with the things that I bought and so the total amount I spent for my two-week Europe trip is drum roll please is 197,224 pesos so actually my max 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 budget is 200,000 so like when people ask me like so how much did you spend talaga in total i would say 200k kasi baka more or less like maybe sa credit card or sa pocket money baka nag exceed lang doon based on like the euro exchange kasi sometimes it's 61 sometimes it's 61.5 so i would say rounded off 20,000 is the amount i spent for my two week europe trip with three countries the thing to consider but here is i was able to save on my accommodation in germany because i lived with my sister because she is already a resident in germany so i was able to save on seven nights and eight days of accommodation because i stayed that long in berlin germany so is it worth it i would say a hundred percent like i'm so 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 proud of myself for fully funding this trip myself and spending time with my siblings and creating memories that i'll always always go back to and ultimately be able to prove to myself that when i set my mind into something when i really want something so bad I get to achieve it, that I get to find ways to make it happen. And I think that's the biggest thing that I will take away from this trip is that it's like all of the possibilities are now endless because something like this, like it used to be such like a huge dream that I didn't think that I would be able to do by 28, you know, that I would be able to do this. Like it just gives me that, that confidence and assurance that when i set my mind to something i will be able to be mentally and financially prepared to make it happen because i already have the right mindset and systems that i will always carry with me as a skill and as the solid foundation as i keep funding these bigger and bigger life milestones for myself so if you're also aspiring to travel to Europe, comment below if you have any questions about how I plan this trip because there's so many different facets and factors also that could be like five videos <laughs> in different topics. So if you have questions about that, leave it in the comment section down below. Maybe I'll do a separate video. Maybe I'll talk about it on Instagram or TikTok and let me know. I'm super excited to hear from you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!